is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel and yes in today's video guys the killer instinct deluxe mod project is finally complete this project took months to complete involving many different modding companies uh, all had their hands in the pot and in today's video guys we're going to kind of break down everything that we did with this entire mod project kind of show you how that we did it and how you can do it too because it's not as hard as you think and we really swapped everything out and we will leave the links to everything in this video's description so you can too build your very own killer instinct deluxe the way arcade one up should have come out with this cabinet from the beginning but now since they lost the title we will never see that ever again and that is exactly why we at the cornercade did this exact mod to bring killer instinct back to life and to make it better and better than ever before but guys enough talking let's jump into the video and let's get this started your first step here guys is we need a shell we need a form factor to start this mod we picked the street fighter shinku hadouken um this was one of the extra cabs that we had in the arcade but it works out great because it's that midway form factor style. It had black trim tape. The control panel lined up the same as far as the buttons uh, schematic wise. So it's awesome fit. But you guys can pick like an MK2 Deluxe if you don't want to have to deal with risers or any type of modding projects as far as that goes. You're just going to have to uh, get a new control panel because those button layouts are a little bit different. But uh, there we go. We got the cabinet picked out. Um, so very excited about that. Now if you follow the channel guys, you're going to know that we've first started to swap out the guts of this thing the encoder board and pcb along with the power switch that little slide switch because it can't have a hard switch it's got to have the slide switch um to see if this would even work and voila it did in one of our preview shorts here so we were super excited about that now that we had the guts we had the internals of this thing we can really start to make this magic happen and get into our first real mod and what is that going to be well that's going to be gi joel's inline riser guys he makes a phenomenal product again the links to his product and everything else that we use will be in this video's description but we didn't want to deal with any type of risers we wanted to give that clean deluxe look so that's exactly what joel's product offers and don't worry about the blacks on the side guys because we're going to be adding a whole new skin to this cabinet uh, the next mod we decided to do here was speaker roll covers. They come on the deluxes, so they need to come on this one as well. All you got to do is drill little holes to really get it started. Little, little tiny uh, pilot holes. Drill them in. It's less than $5 to do. It's a super quick and easy mod that makes it a whole lot better from an aesthetics appearance. Um, next we're going to do, we're going to start to skin this thing over because... We've got the internals ready to rock and ready to roll. So our first kind of step here is taking the control panel out, taking the side side panels off, and we're going to go ahead and put that killer instinct up in front, um, as you see there. So all you got to do is put a piece of blue tape down to the middle as soon as you get it, uh, get the, the sticker lined up there. And then the vinyl will apply really easy. Just take your time. Just use a squeegee, and it goes right on. Joe Sabos makes a phenomenal product that I can't think uh, speak in highly more of. It's just, it's so cool. It goes on super easy. No sticks, no messes, no anything. The bubbles are very minimal, and you can get them completely out with the squeegee. 
then the next step guys we're gonna go ahead and do the killer instinct marquee uh for this one we just took the screws out of the top here the top portion i want to take the whole panel off and then you can really easily just slide that in so you don't have to make a whole big production out of this and then it just looks so much better reverse printed acrylic marquee this also came from joe sabos as well again those links will be in this video's description as well but you can see it here and then once we fire it on turn it on there it goes the colors pop the dcs sound the midway the nintendo the rare logos that are found uh true to the killer instinct uh real arcade machine i mean this is just what what an awesome product this is deep blacks high contrast levels which is awesome 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 and then there's another shot here of our speaker roll covers. Things starting to rock and roll. We got the bezel on there in place. That Killer Instinct bezel. Uh, we went and go. We went, we just took the stock bezel. So on the bottom there, the KI logo is a little cut off. That's okay. Not too worried about it. Not going to lose any sleep. Joe Sabos does make a different bezel. If you want all like the moves list and on there, so you can kind of pop that off and put one that'll fit this mod as well. But we opted to save a little bit of the money. I think it was like 25 bucks to do that. But guys, the next step here is going to be overlaying this control panel and my oh my this is where it really starts to take off so again same type uh, we did before put the blue tape down in the middle once you get it uh, measured out to where you want it cut that little white piece of paper off peel the the uh the vinyl back and then just get it stuck on there it's so easy don't worry about the holes or anything that's easy easy stuff the vinyl applies really really smoothly and we're gonna go ahead and do uh the same to the other side Again, just take the tape off, take the blue masking tape off there, that painter's tape, and then lay this guy down. I mean, guys, you can do this. If we can do this, you can do this as well. That's how easy this is, and hopefully this video can kind of inspire you and show you guys that you can do this as well. Not to just Killer Instinct, but to any cab you want to make. Um, after you get this kind of laid down, uh, we're going to go ahead and take an X-Acto knife and just trim out the edges here. You can see those little notches at the top left and right. And then following along, you just want to make it nice, crispy, that that factory kind of look where, where there's no there's no extra hang off of the vinyl at all. And then you're going to flip the control panel along while we have it gutted out. And you're going to go ahead and cut all of the little circles out for the buttons uh, on off switch and the live button and everything like that. So easy, easy process here. You're just going to go ahead and use the X-Acto knife. Let the tools do the work here. And then once uh, Miss Corner Kate here is done cutting them through, we're going to flip the board on the front side. And then we're just going to go ahead and really edge it off nicely to give it that finished polished look. You don't necessarily need to do that because the buttons will cover all of this jazz. But it is nice to just give it that clean, clean look. Um, just in case you wanted to go the extra mile here. But really easy stuff, guys. I mean, it's just it, it's cutting like butter, essentially. A hot knife through butter. And then once all that's done, you're going to go ahead and slap the joysticks back into place. And then now the fun start, the fun stuff really starts to start here because now we can get all of our buttons in place with the wire. So we picked uh, industrial Lorenzo buttons. These are the blue colored killer instinct buttons along with uh, we got some white as well for the player one, two and uh, Wi-Fi. And then we got the uh, the cherry micro switches in there. Best of the best. Uh, go the extra mile trust me and then we got the zero uh, delay wires as well um and all this stuff is going to go back into the machine and guys this is really you pop the buttons in you thread the button on you pop the cherry switch in and the two connectors and then when you plug the wires in guys there's three prongs you use the top and the middle prong to plug your wires in doesn't matter uh, the white or the blue which one they plug in just use the top in the middle we've learned that in past mods the hard way uh, but you're just going to go ahead and get all these guys in don't tighten them too tight because you have to adjust and move depending on where the cherry switch is sticking out and pointing along with the other uh, wires that are going to be in this control panel to really like tie everything together and then you're going to go ahead and tighten everything down really good and nice um, to, to give it that you know that locked in place so when you're playing the game the buttons aren't moving on you but again this is a huge huge upgrade now it's the time to upgrade the buttons when you're doing this from the mushy arcade one-up ones because it makes a tremendously huge difference in the future we might do il joysticks as well um, we opted not to do this on this mod but maybe in the future we will um, for right now we got the uh, cable management in there everything zip tied ready to go as clean as you can get it leave the back cover off of this guy but when you flip it around there it is wow look at that thing i mean that brings a smile to my face everything is the way it should be super excited again um the black cover that comes on these things stock leave it off you don't need that anymore these buttons are a little too big for that but once it's in place ready to rock and roll i mean look at how cool 
that look. Just look at it. I mean, all the official logos, everything. Now, we use some 19K Fox recommended uh, little uh, washers to go into the screws when you put it down. Because remember, you don't need a uh, plastic deck, or deck protector for this guy because it's got that play guard surface on there. So, again, bringing it true to that deluxe form factor. But when you tighten it on, use those threads. And we'll leave everything in this video's description to kind of show you uh, how to get everything. But don't tighten it too tight. Just let, tighten it tight enough. Um, Joe Sabos purposely leaves off like player one, two, Wi Fi, and all the moves and everything on there because when you're shifting this around, if you're off by any stretch of the imagination, it's going to throw all the wording off as well. So I'm kind of glad he did leave it off. But there's a Nintendo branding on there. Um, awesome stuff. The Killer Instinct, the Rare logo. Like, it's just beautiful. It's awesome. It's how it should be. All right, guys. So now that we have the control panel laid down and we, it, it's. And we got everything else ready to rock and roll. This is time, guys. This is time to put the big spinal side art onto this thing. So we are really, really ready to let this rip. Going to go ahead and take the control panel off again. Um, we're going to go ahead and take those side pieces off as well uh, to the control panel. Lay the cabinet down on its side here. Um, we're going to cover up the Shinku Adukan art with spinal. Get it all laid out. Before you do that, guys... Make sure that you clean up the surface a little bit with some soapy water. You can use Windex or whatever cleaner you want to use. I like the soapy water because it's uh, essentially free. Just put a little bit of Dawn soap in there with some water. And then you're rubbing it down and just kind of cleaning up any edges. Making sure that vinyl truly sticks and let that dry for a second. And then I went I went ahead and just tightened all the screws down just in case. Because once you apply the, the side art of Spinal on there... You're not going to be able to access those screws anymore unless you want to cut everything out again, thus not making it a deluxe because um, there's no screw cap covers or anything like that. So get everything tightened down, ready to roll. Get that position the way you want it. There's really no method to the madness here. You're just kind of lining it up. I line it up by the killer instinct, so the K and then the T on the sides there um, and just kind of let it roll and taped it down with some um, uh, that blue painter tape with the top, the sides. Um, it does help to have two people, but you don't necessarily need two people to do this. You can kind of do it by yourself, but it's always a help. Uh, more hands, more better. Uh, cut cut the bottom piece off, just like we did with the uh, control panel artwork there. And then you're just going to go ahead and slowly apply it down with the squeegee. And I know I'm blocking this shot here, but we'll get you on the back side on the top part. I wanted to make sure I got this started, um, because once that's down there, you'll be able to really uh, set it up uh, for success for the rest of the cabinet. Uh, here we go. My wife's laying it down, and I'm going to pick it up. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same process over again. Uh, just getting all the the air bubbles out and uh, you'll see here there's two like big dots there that's where the cab used to be uh, screwed into the riser so we kind of shaved that down a little bit put some stickers over it and then uh, put the vinyl over it so again kind of mimics like a screw cap cover but again you could probably leave those off and then just kind of vinyl over it you'll have a smaller sticker but it's not the end of the world there but really coming to life here with the spinal side art on now you're going to go on to go ahead and and just clean everything up with an exacto knife get all the extra vinyl off there's gonna be like two inches on the bottom so if you ever wanted to make this higher uh Joe Sabos does print enough to where you could raise this two to three inches higher um with still having the vinyl cover the complete cab so she's just gonna go ahead miss corner kate here's just gonna go ahead and, and just trim everything up real nice make it look all official uh, just add like that factory look, just cleaning everything up nice. You're gonna definitely want to do this with the Exacto knife, and let the let the you know let the Exacto knife do do what it's intended to do here. It'll cut right like butter. So right here on the top, you're just gonna clean everything up, and you can see, clearly see by Spinal's head there those nice clean lines by the trim. She does a phenomenal job doing this. So I let her have the steady hand in doing so, but you just see on the cabinet there, she's really bringing it together. And that's when I started to really get a smile on my face, and you can clearly see everything just coming together now we'll do the same thing here on the other side just flip it over again you're going to want to clean it off tighten all the screws uh you know hand tight all the screws if necessary and then go through and just really get everything in place again that gi joel inline riser is going to be covered up nice with the vinyl so the color just dis distortion and uh won't matter at all we're just going to kind of finish it off there i ran into some bubble uh some bubbles here on this side but it's okay again just work it through um, the bubbles will come out. If they don't come out, guys, uh, just poke it with a little uh, X-Acto knife action. You'll never see that hole ever. And then you can go ahead and just vinyl it again, and you'll be completely okay. So, so don't don't have a panic attack if uh, if it doesn't go on right away. I mean, this is this is easy stuff. Joe Sabos makes a good quality vinyl, and it just really goes on very very easy. Again, it always has it always helps to have an extra set of 
hands, but you don't necessarily need them. You could hold it up with your left hand, kind of go down with your right hand squeegeeing, and you'll be A-OK. -okay. We're going to finish it up here and make it look really, really complete. This is just awesome stuff. It's just, it's, I'm so, so, so impressed with, with all of the, the mod companies that were involved in this. They just had, they have, have excellent products and it's really cool that they're allowing us to, to shine. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing, guys. Killer Instinct Deluxe is really coming together at this point. It looks awesome. Um, the side art is applied and that's when it really, really, really started to trans transform into to what it's going to be today. So again, now we got to get the side panels on. So for those side panels, we're going to go ahead and cut the little holes out uh, to fit the all four screws. We're going to do that with the exacto knife and just poke those screws, uh, screws through. And then we're going to go ahead and get the sides on there. Um, all patent down tight because we got some Nintendo branding logos that we're going to go ahead and put over these. So um, just get them nice and tight. And then we're going to go ahead and put the control panel back on. Again, you're going to have to get all the screws situated because once the Nintendo logo goes on, unless you don't want to cut those out, they're going to be stuck with a nice, clean, polished look where no screws are showing. So once the control panel is back into place, that's when you can do this. We want to make sure the sides line up. Everything's good. You didn't over tighten where you can't get that control panel back on. And then we're going to go ahead and do that. Beautiful. And there's those washers again, guys. And we'll include those um, in the video's description as well. So you can uh, purchase those just so you don't tear any vinyl on this thing. You want it to be nice, nice and easy at the end of the day. So there it is, guys. There's the completed look of this thing. But wait a second. We still got to get the Nintendo branding logo on there. And that's what we're going to do on the side. This could be our final step, guys. And here it is right here. We're going to go ahead. And they pretty much line up pretty easy you're gonna go ahead and do the same kind of thing um and you peel them off stick them on it's super easy to do and then my wife's just gonna go through and meticulously cut everything with a exacto knife but you really don't need to they they sort of line up really really good but she's just gonna take that thin 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 micro layer off uh, as you can see here and then we are done we are done as far as aesthetics look we are completed and done. This thing looks awesome and badass. Um, but I will say this. We got to do a couple other things, guys. We got to do some internal things. As you see right there, there's some lights at the front of that coin door. And we're going to go ahead and use uh, Retro 530's light up kit to go ahead and light that up. Now, we already had this lit up from before, uh, but we do have past videos that show how to do that. But everything's just coming up really, really cool. I mean, this is where the smile really shines through my face. My wife was excited. Like, this is what it should have been from day one. Killer Instinct Deluxe. Now, there's that Retro 530 kit that I was talking about. Drill a little couple, or three inch holes in there. And then you're going to go ahead and stick them in. And then plug it into the uh, PCB. That'll be wired up really, really easy. A Logitech sound system, guys. I will put all these links in this video's description. That's going to go ahead and connect to a uh, splitter cord. That's going to go ahead and power these two speakers, the sub and the stock rk one-up speakers we do have some soundproof paneling in there that's the white that you see there uh just to kind of cut down some of the rattle because this thing thumps uh so you might want to do that but again you're gonna have to play with the sound uh with that as well depends on how high you have it turned up uh on the back side the wires the power cord and the uh other wires are going to be coming out through the back panel so you're just going to cut a little notch out of there just to make sure everything's good and the wires can come out. I just zip tied the cords together, but you can also opt to put them into the cabinet if you want to give it a little bit more of a clean look. I didn't want to squish the wires. There's the control panel to the Logitech speakers that's going to sit on top, guys. And uh, that'll be really, really easy then to control. You can also shut it off. That's the thing I love about this mod for the sound system. You can shut it off and just go with the stock speakers if you're gaming late at night and didn't want to rattle the entire house or apartment that you live in. Uh, but there's the completed look, guys. There it is. It's ready to roll. So, so very excited on how this turned out. I mean, I think it looks great, guys. But you guys got to let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this Killer Instinct Deluxe project? Uh, would you do anything different? Is there anything that you would add to it? Is there anything that you want to do to a different cabinet and make that modded to your very own? I mean, let me know everything in the comments down below, guys. Because this isn't the first mod we're going to do. But it's not the last mod we're going to do either. We have a lot more cabinets that we want to bring to life to the Corner cabinet. So I just think all in all, I want to give a huge shout out to all the companies that were involved with this. Again, all their links are going to be in this video's description. Joe Sabo's, G.I. Joel, Retro 530. Thank you so much, guys, for making awesome products 
to really let the community shine when they're trying to do their their mod projects in the future and and that's one last look guys of the killer instinct deluxe that we brought to life again i cannot say enough good things about it guys awesome awesome stuff and there it is guys it is all complete all finished put a bow on it wrap it up because this thing is completely done shout outs to all the companies that were listed in this video it's a tribute to you guys that we're able to do all of this cool and wacky stuff to our home arcade products to our arcade one-ups and to really transform them into the next level and make them that much better super excited at the end of the day i'm so excited my wife is so excited killer instinct is back baby and it's the way it should have been since day one but now it gets you thinking a little bit what could be next for the corner cave like what other mod projects could we do what else could we bring to the table i don't know at the end of the day i'm just excited that we are going to continue to mod and continue to do this but it does bear the question what what really could be next <laughs>